is that I heard a loud crash. Sometimes at night, you know, when it starts cooling off, I'll crack the window open four or five inches so Fat Cat can, uh, she likes to sit at the window and sniff at the screen and, you know, listen to birds and that type of thing. Point being is that uh, I heard a loud crash. Didn't really think much of it. You know, it's kind of common, you know, branches falling off trees, etc. But uh, let me show you what happened. I'll be right back. All right, guys. As I mentioned, sometimes at night I'll crack my window open, you know, let the nice cool evening air settle in, you know, just get some fresh air. And I heard a loud crack. So uh, here we are investigating the situation. And Lordy B, look at this. Look at this mess. This entire tree completely just uprooted. You know, we've had it happen quite a bit. I'm not sure if it's a soil issue or uh, the tree looked healthy. I mean, it, it's not all, you know, it's growing leaves and whatnot. It, it, I know we don't have, we didn't have any wind, but the soil here is pretty, uh, pretty thin. To be, uh, to be honest, it doesn't look like it had a massively large root system, but I'm not a biologist. Or could this be a case of tree suicide? Or even the more notorious squirrel tree suicide or uh, homicide. It's quite popular down here. And the squirrels think it's funny. They all get on a neighboring tree and they start jumping on a branch towards the top. They find the weakness in the tree and they just keep, one by one, they land on the branch until the tree starts to go. Pretty popular. I might have to get an investigative report. Anyway, looks to be about 10 inches or so at the base. Well, maybe even a foot at the very bottom. Got a couple giant roots. I would say the tree in height at the time of death. Let's, let's try to take a peek. I don't know, from what I can see, I don't know, 25 feet, 30 maybe. Oh boy. Well, at least no power lines were involved and it's stuck on another tree. It's basically out of harm's way, so to speak. Just one more thing to add to the list. I gotta admit, my, uh, my tree skills are limited as many others. All right. And good times was had by all. Let's go find somebody to help. I need some smiles. Who, who's that? Rodney or Roger? Rodney. Oh, all right. You guys want a water? Yeah. Hey, what about you? got a bag What'd you do? My back been bothering me about a month now. Yeah? So will. And I, I don't know, you know, I, I believe it's from, cause see I like cleaning and I, I'm all the time picking up stuff. I believe it's, I, I don't know. You A lot know, of bending over? They say you, they can't detect what's wrong with your back. Uh, what's really wrong with your back, but something wrong. Boy, I'm talking about one day, last week, she, Roger had to help me up. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I'm talking about it seemed like it was a spam. Right down here at the bottom part of my back. Yeah, I got some back issues too. But it's always like when I lean, I lean one way or the other. I, you know, every time I come here, the train seems to start up. It just knows when I get here. It was right there last time you parked right Yeah, it certainly was. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me, uh, let me get you those waters right away. I do, but hold on a second. Okay. Here you go, Gloria. 
Yeah, Rocky uh, complained about the same hit back to me and Rod. Here you go, Rod. Like How you doing, buddy? Good, thank you. Have we met? I don't think so. No, my name's Daryl. Daryl. My name's Kick. Kick? Yeah. It's like, like kick ass? Yeah, like kick it's like, ass. <laughs> well, that's the first time I've heard that name. Me too. Uh, kick. Wait. All right, Kick. We'll kick this around. It's one of my cars. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. All right, hold on a sec. Yeah. yeah. My name's Daryl, by the way. I think I said that. But. Yeah, let me, uh, you guys want some flavors? Yeah. I got some electrolyte packs. Okay. Yeah. I got a grape. 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 I got watermelon and black cherry. Watermelon. Watermelon. I got. You know that, uh, the other day when they came and told you that the guy that had got cut, Boy, he, somebody did a job on him. Somebody did a job on him. When, when, when what happened now? You know, the other day when that little guy came out here and asked you for a uh, first aid kit. Oh, it was uh, Greg. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, James for his friend in yeah. a, that was sitting in a tent. Yeah, I went down there. To, I told him. I knew, I don't know the man sitting here, but well, whoever, whoever cut him, in there man it, it doesn't change color but you'll taste it for sure it's like kick how you doing man nice to meet you sir been over a sickness i've been sick for the last three days what happened i don't know i've been real weak uh, my whole body been aching well you might be cramping up my head uh sweating you get a lot of headaches yeah I yeah can't. yeah i just now got over i had to go get a bottle of pills uh ibuprofen oh all right cool oh you got the gels the fast acting. Oh yeah, these are good. Yeah. Well, be careful with them. You know, yeah. Obviously. All right. You hungry, man? Uh, you guys got a few hours for lunch yet? I ain't been able to eat in so three yeah. days. I'm, I'm you haven't eaten in three days. Yeah. Maybe that's why you're a little uh, sore. You know, get you know. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm starving. No, we gotta have starving. something like back. This gave me a cupcake a minute ago. That's the first thing I ate. Yeah. What do you think, Usher? Three days. Good day in paradise. Good day in paradise. <laughs> All right, you hungry? You guys are all hungry. I, I get it. All right, here's the deal, guys. Uh, two of these have ruffles and one has Doritos. I take the Doritos. You want the Doritos? All right. Other than that, they're identical in every way. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Now there's a Kool-Aid pack in there. Uh, so a beef bologna sandwich, you know, with cheese and a mustard pack. Yeah, there's a, uh, you'll see, there's a variety of different things in there. A breakfast bar, you know, that type of thing. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, there's a fortune cookie in there. Why don't you guys to crack those open? And see what, no, and see what the fortune says. Okay, I'm going to have a great day. What this cookie say don't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can agree with that. I got something I want you to take a look at, Gloria. They're all, we're, I'll bring them over. My friend Susan, let's go over to the curb. These are uh, leggings. Oh yes, I love leggings. From my friend Susan. Oh. And uh, she's in Michigan. Uh-huh. She sent them to you. Yeah, she sent me a pile. And it says their sizes from, there's 22 pairs from 0 to 12. Yeah. Now, they're not, like, necessarily labeled. You know, they might be an 8, a 10, you uh -huh. know. But obviously, you might be able to tell the, the more fabric here. You're a little, yeah. you're itty-bitty. Mm -hmm. So you might need some smaller ones. So why don't you dig through there, grab a couple. Okay. And that way, I got enough for a little bit of everybody. Mm -hmm. All shapes and sizes. If you want, you can open them up. I, I, yeah, let me look here. Yeah. Take a peek. See what you think. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. I mean, you guys got some cakes and desserts and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Then again, you can only eat so much of that. Oh, you're a chip sandwich guy. 
Yeah, that's pretty common around here. Yeah, I got half a chip. That I that I've seen. Without a doubt. What's new, Roger? What's the word on the street, man? Oh man, same old man. man. Break it down, give me the info. Yeah, it's getting better. Yeah. It's getting better in certain areas, you know, but as long as you got the cops standing trying to break up everything. Yeah. It's they they you know what? If they really were doing their job and you know had better things to do, they wouldn't be messing with these homeless people like they do. It's a shame. You know what? I ain't got nothing against the uh, uh, police and them, but it don't make sense the way they ride up on the homeless people, uh, jump out like they SWAT team. Yeah, and, yeah. Well, how many uh? How many of your friends went to jail recently? Well, let me see. About one, I think. Just one? Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. But, uh, I guess with that being said, what, uh, what else is new? You well, know, so, so the cops acting crazy. You know, they say they're doing their job, but they, you know, more harassing people. They, they ain't doing no, that ain't what you call a job, that's harassment. They yeah. ain't no doing their job, that's harassment. If they were doing their job, they'll get, get the real criminals. You know, somebody that's out up at Walmart stealing or something. But these people down here trying to get something to eat, uh, trying to get uh, something, a, a pair of shoes or something. A few dollars. They come down here and harass them. They, that ain't doing their job. All right. I'm just looking to see. Well, go ahead, Gloria. Dig through there, man. Let's see what you think. And uh, we can go from there. How you doing on hygiene stuff, Roger? You need some You need some yeah, supplies? Yeah. What do you need, buddy? Deodorant. Some deodorant? Yeah. All right. Let me see what I can find out. You know, kind of go from there. Mike's always last at a party. Right. Yeah. The brown wolf, the red chief, what's that? The red chief? <laughs> Is that what he said? Are you the Red Chief? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. It's like, how you doing, Mike? Good to see you, man. Yeah. You doing all right? Yeah. All right. Um, tell you what, you hungry, man? Yeah. All right. Let me set you up. Here you go, Mike. There's a Kool-Aid pack in there. A uh, beef pony and cheese. And there's a Pop Tart. You know, a couple. Of, you'll see. You know, mustard pack in there. You know, you want a flavor for your for your drink? Yeah, that work. I got some uh, electrolyte packs. Uh -oh. How about a watermelon? Yeah, that work. All that right, works. fantastic. Let me check on. Uh, hey, you ain't got another lot, do you? Uh, flashlight. Yeah, I got another flashlight. Oh, uh, here you go, Mike. Here's a flashlight, buddy. That's from my friend Mark. Yeah. And uh, you got one like that before, right? Yeah. The hand crank. All right. Well, don't look. Give it away, man. I don't like giving it. Yeah, I was trying to be generous, and I figured he'd bring it back. But. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe that won't happen again. I know those are th 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 adult proof. You need yeah. tools to open them. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It gets old. Hey, Gloria, you say you needed some soap? Yeah. Yeah, remember, just get a couple now. Okay. Now I was just trying to put back the color. Well, you can open them up and you see. You got about three or four. You got three or four of the same color in that. Yeah, that? but they're probably different sizes. Oh, let me yeah. see. That, that's the whole point. They're size zero. Oh, okay. They're size zero to 12. And, uh, I yeah, appreciate you. Hey, no problem, Kick. Here you go, Roger. You got a bag, man? Yeah, All right. There's a couple different styles. This is a roll on, and that's a like a dry stick. Okay, you know, you know the drill. So, how you doing, Kick? What do you need today, buddy? Uh, I'm good on everything. So yeah. You got socks and stuff? Yeah, I got some socks. You got some socks? Yeah. I got some socks for you. Can I get a pair of socks? Sure. Not a problem. You say deodorant? All right. Hey, that's what I need too. All right. You get that bar of soap, right? You said I didn't give you one last time, but I did. Yeah. Oh, I got it. All right. You were going down to the creek, you said, with it. Yeah. Well, I felt like the jet day go up. Boy, I was like, I was about to see. I thought I was catching on fire. 
Well, well yeah, it's, you could almost just stand in the sun and catch on fire here. It's nonsense. All right, let me see what I got, Kick. What's that? I'll see what I got. What's that? Yeah, I think so. For your bike? Yeah. You want one for the head? Yeah, for the head. You know, I, yeah, I got it. I got a head one. Yeah, that works. You know, just for safety, man. You know. Oh, well, you got to have it too, otherwise you can get in trouble. Somebody stole my. You know what? So you gave me my tower thing. Yeah. I laid it beside me. I was doing something, my book bag turned around, it was gone. You stole your cooling towel? Yeah. That quick. That's sad. I said, you know what? I, really didn't get mad. One reason I didn't get mad because whoever took it that quick and that bad, they must have really needed it. And you was out here giving them out. I'm like, damn, why they take mine? They and stole I, your cooling towel. Yeah. That's not cool. It sure ain't cool. It would have it, it, been hot if I'd have who did. That's amazing to me. Oh, by the way, Gloria, here you go. Here's three pairs of socks. You get some deal? Yeah. I mean, thank you. Yep. Oh, yep. There you go. And, uh, Mike, you need a bag. Yeah, because that one's hanging up. I got out of my church. Well, this is Mike's. Well, if you got this is the last one I got. Oh, is it? Well, yeah, with me today. Okay. You know, did you get your, uh, your two packs that you want? Yeah. Okay, so you're good on these? Yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Here, Gloria, there's no way you're going to be able to carry all your stuff in your non-pocketed pants. Uh -huh, yeah. So there's a bag for you. Can't read it? Your golden opportunity is coming short. That means something good coming my way. You're, you're, that's exactly what it says. Your golden opportunity. Well, what's wrong with that? Yeah. It sounds like a plan to me. That's Why true. don't you hold on to that and read it often? You know, that way. Oh, yeah, you told the truth. Yeah, you don't waste much time. Yeah, these are uh, kind of spendy. All right, Roger, check this out, my man. It's rechargeable, no less. Oh, really? Yeah, you got a cable. No batteries necessary. Pretty high tech. Yes, sir, it is. You got I the really LED, little push button, waterproof. I really appreciate this. Yeah. Thanks. I'll tell you what, you can have a uh, you can have the box if you'd like it. Mm -hmm. That'd be fine. You know, keep it in there for when it's ready for use. Yes, sir. Yeah, that absolutely. Come in yeah, well, it might save you a ticket and a night in jail. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. You know. Need you know what? I'm going to have to yeah. get real. Yeah, right. I got one right, but get with the police. Well, get it fixed. Gloria, I can't understand what you're saying. Excuse me. Now, go ahead and finish that. Kick, you were saying you, you, you have a bike? A bike. Are you driving a bike? Okay, so you're not like riding obviously at night? Okay, but well, you still need a flashlight. I do. All right. Let me tell you what the police told me. Roger had me a, had me a um, you know, had them fix me up a little light. It wasn't no light you buy it. I saw it, yeah. And the police told me, he said, you need to uh, update your uh, uh, light on your bike. I said, I tell you what, sir, if you think I need to update uh, my light, on my bike and this is the best I can do. I said, won't you buy me one? How do you update your light on your bike? Is it not bright it enough? It was a yellow light on the front. But it So now there's legalities behind what color you can have. I don't know, but uh, I told him, I said, All right. I didn't have no money to buy now. So won't you buy me one if, if, if I need to update the light on my bike? I said, at least it's a light that I could be seen in the dark. You know. Right. And uh, last time I seen him, he said, oh, you got you another light, don't you? I said, well, no, I didn't get me another one. I just kind of picked that around and put me one together. That's the way I said it, just like that. I said, I yeah. put me one together. All right. Yeah, I'm like, I need to, up what did he say, brother? I need to update, I need to update my, my light on my bike. Yeah. So the one you have now it works or does not work? It don't work. But you you are riding a bike. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me let home me home see home. what I can find out. You ain't got no light on the bike at night, or you know when they stop, you need to get a ticket. All right, Gloria, I want you to pay strict attention here. This is the same light Roger got. Mm-hmm. 
a charging cable for it. So now the two of you, being that you're a couple, you have two charging cables. Mm -hmm. Straps around your head. Mm -hmm. All right. Or if you want to rig it up in such a way around your bike handlebars, whatever. But it's nice and, you know, adjustable fit. Mm -hmm. You know, got the buttons, you know, charging port, you know, et cetera, oh, et cetera. Cool. Yeah. No batteries necessary. Okay. So. Just keep it charged up. Well, if you want it to work, that would probably okay. be a good idea. No, I, I was just saying, since you said no battery, I said, are you just... Well, it doesn't need batteries. You you know, you charge it. It's not solar, yeah. but you got to charge it every now and then. Oh, okay. You know? I'm going to keep it charged. Depends on how much you use it. They stopped yeah. me and Roger three times in what? One week, did it? About a light on our bicycle. That's ridiculous. All right. Thank you for everything you said. All right, you're welcome. Man, guys, I normally don't get out on Sundays too much, but you know, I got a, a tree fell in my yard and I got to get that kind of fixed up. I was on the phone for a while trying to call these, you know, not it wasn't an emergency, you know, it wasn't on power lines or nothing like that, but it's got to be cleared up. So I was calling some place to make some appointments. It's not that big of a tree, squirrels did it, yeah, yeah, there was a thousand squirrels in the neighborhood they had a conspiracy they were in trees surrounding the tree and then they'd all jump on a branch one at a time until it fell <laughs> no it's squirrel squirrel homicide mm -hmm. it's popular down here yeah. all the time <coughs> said you had some yes i do forgot about that sorry uh, toothbrush toothpaste yes, here you go young man Thank you. let me grab you some socks man here you go, kick. Thank you, sir. We got two, four, and six, six all pairs. the same. Okay. That way you don't got them, yeah. you know, mix and match. Yeah. Uh, ankle socks, I'm you know, a little thinner, keep it cool, you know, cooler. Yeah, no problem, man. Nice. Well, if you see me, don't hesitate to flag me down. Right. Gloria, come running down. Daryl. Yeah, what's that? I gotta see, I'm glad it's the good stuff, man. Yeah. Bottle of Axe. Yeah. yeah. Give it a spray. Mm -hmm. Don't be shy. Just not your face. Everything about your face. Hey, real strong. I can't hear you. I really ain't strong or I can't smell one. Oh. Is that four hours of... It's called uh, Apollo. Apollo. Mm -hmm. Apollo. Apollo scented. Yeah. Good to see you, Mike. Think about that. What's that? If you need any help, just let me know. All right. Well, the thing is, is I just don't know. It's not like it's it's not leaning on a power line or nothing like that. It's it's just a, really a matter of it just looks ugly, you know. The whole roots, everything came out. The whole tree just fell over. Buddy, my had a big oak, an old oak tree. It is. Between me and him, I about grabbed him a couple times, saving his eyes. <laughs> We were talking about that four and a half, it was that big around. That's not fun. Two, 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 two of us yeah, it's not that big around. It's only the maximum maximum thickness is a foot. Yeah. Maybe even less. You know, ten inches. So Alright. Well we'll see what happens. Alright guys. Hey, take it easy, buddy. Yeah, um, you need a bag? Yeah, you need a bag. I got a bag for you, my friend. All right, check this out. You know the drill. Oh, there's two of them. Um, yeah, if you want to pile your stuff in there. That'd be great. And you know it works. Yeah, thank you, man. That way, uh, you know, if we're moving along, yeah, a little, little easier for you to, yeah. to manage. So, all right, cool. You got a card, right? Uh, yeah, hey, my email, it. my now my email address is on there. Got the card right here. Yeah, and uh, if you need to contact me, you know, if I don't know, do you have a phone? Uh, no. Nah. Okay, do you have access to one? Uh, yeah, I got access. Okay. Well, you can email me. Okay. And uh, you know, if you got any questions, comment. Okay. I, I'm around here a few times a week, so okay. you know, if I run into you again, you know, yeah, stop I by, and say I hi. Around here a month ago. Wow. Well, almost two months. It's no good. Not a good time. It was, well, it's never a good time, but especially now. So. All right, Roger. Hey, man. Good to see you again, buddy. Good to see you too, my brother. Right there. Yeah. You guys be safe, man. Please. Thank you. Stay out of trouble. It's the last thing I did, man. Yeah. <laughs> When's your next uh, single coming out? Yeah. Probably. Uh, Working on it. 2034. 34. All right. Well, that's that's close. Yeah. 
Must be a good one. Yeah. Years <laughs> to get <laughs> I'm still collaborating. Uh, really All right, man. Good to see. You. All right, good to see you, buddy. All right, I'll talk to you. Oh wow. Oh, all right. Sometimes it's kind of strange. You know, I'll show up and there's one person here and then all of a sudden, two, three, four, you know, homing beacon. But, uh, all right. We're gonna sign off for now. We're gonna see what happens next.